Are you a person over 50 who's been suffering with a bit of back pain and you're wondering whether or not you should buy a back pain belt for some relief? If you are, make sure you watch right to the end of this video to find out whether or not that's a good idea. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should use a back pain belt for relief. Now I'm asked this question quite often by people who have been suffering with their backs for a little while. And they often say, <clears throat> I've seen one of these back pain belts on Amazon or I've seen it online and it's promising me relief from back pain. And they look kind of like corsets, they go around the middle. I thought it would be a good idea, should I buy one? And my answer is usually, it depends. Now we're gonna first of all talk about why someone might find relief from a back pain belt. And basically these things are quite large belts. They're about this wide. They go all the way around the middle and you join them up at the waist. And basically they act like a corset, okay? They keep everything in position. And if you find that your back is quite sore on movement, it might feel intuitive that you want everything to be secured by a belt. And without a doubt, these back pain belts do provide relief while you're wearing them, but that's not the whole story. Now, when you're wearing a back belt, what's basically happening is it's keeping everything in your spine in place. So it's not letting anything move. And if you're someone who gets pain from movement in your back, then yeah, that's gonna feel quite nice. But if you're wearing a back pain belt, we're not relying any longer on the muscles. So we tend to find that the muscles in the hips and the muscles in the core, which is around the front and the midriff of your body and your muscles in your back, don't have to work as hard anymore when the belt is there because the belt is doing their job. Now you might think, well, that's not too much of a problem, but you'd be wrong because the muscles, when they're not working for long periods of time, they end up becoming very weak. And this doesn't take as long as most people think. In fact, there's evidence to show that if you disuse a muscle for a period of as little as two weeks, you lose at least 25 to 30% of the strength within that muscle, which is a massive loss. And it takes a lot of work to build it back up. So you have to be very, very careful with these back pain belts, because if you wear them for too long, the muscles will switch off, which means as soon as you take that belt off, you're going to be worse than you were before because the muscles are no longer strong enough to support you as they had done in the past. So for the vast majority of people who have back pain and they're considering a back pain belt, it's actually a very bad idea. Now there are some caveats to this and there are some circumstances where a back pain belt might instead be a good idea. One of these circumstances is when there is known instability around the spine and instability can happen for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is that uh, someone can suffer from what we call a crush fracture. So they can suffer a fracture to one of the vertebrae in the spine. And the other reason is if you've been told by a consultant that it's a good idea to keep a back, a back belt on after certain forms of surgery, this is also a good idea to follow their advice. Now, the other time that it can be quite good to um, wear a back belt is if you have some back pain or if you have a known back injury and someone's called on you to do some heavy lifting that you just can't get out of. Okay, we all have these situations sometimes. Maybe you have a son or daughter who's trying to move house and you think, I really need to go and help, but my back's complaining. Now, instead of just not going and not helping at all, the op one of the options is you could get one of these belts just to help you while you lift and shift. But the main thing to take away from this is you should minimize the use of the belt. You certainly shouldn't try and use it while you're walking around because that's when the core and the uh, back muscles most need to be doing their thing. And if you're wearing the belt, they won't work at all. So only wear it for when you're actually lifting things. It can provide some support for lifting, 
One of the dangers of wearing it when you lift all the time is that it actually encourages you to push your tummy out against the belt rather than pull your tummy in. So it starts to invert the movement. So that's another danger of it. But if you, you have one or two days of heavy lifting that you just can't get out of, sometimes back pain belts are a good idea. However, for most of you watching this video, at least 80-90%, a back pain belt is the wrong method to treat your problem. The best thing you can do is to start to build some strength in either the core or the gluteal muscles. If you don't know how to go about that, then I suggest you get in contact with a physio such as myself or pick up a copy of my book called Thriving Beyond 50. It has tons of great exercises and strategies for improving problems like this without needing to go out and purchase a belt. Anyway, I hope that's made some sense. Back pain belts are tempting, but they're usually not the right answer and they do more harm than good in the long run. So steer clear of them unless you have instability or you're gonna do some heavy lifting or you've been told by a consultant you should wear one. Anyway, that's what I've got for you today. I really appreciate your time. If you could do me a massive favor and subscribe to the channel and like this video, it really, really helps me reach more people. So I appreciate it if you do. Other than that, you can pick up a copy of my book, Thriving Beyond 50, as I've mentioned, because this will give you loads more info like that. But again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.